What's up, all my devil dogs? It's your boy, Sean Otley, Strength Corps Zion Five Star General. Hope y'all having a good day today. It's Wednesday, and I decided I need to put something out for y'all. I'm still waiting on, you know, finishing everything with the collab with Kev, and we're going to still try and get y'all that this week. But y'all know I got to keep y'all laced up with videos. I'm sitting here like, oh, I got to give them something. So I actually recorded my full-blown ad routine. I told y'all, I think a week or two ago, I was going to get that to y'all. So I went ahead. It's not anything super, super long, because keep in mind, I do do that ad routine, the, the warm-up routine. I do that before every workout. So when I do my like full blown ad routine, it's not a bunch of volume, but it's enough to where, you know, uh, I think it makes a difference uh, twice a week where I hit it with weights, cables, things like that. And y'all see that in this little routine. So y'all know I got to keep you laced up. So enjoy the video, enjoy the workout. Uh, stay tuned for the collab with Kevin Avec at Toro Fitness. But until then, y'all already know I'm gonna keep y'all laced up. So let's get to the clip. Hope y'all enjoy the workout. All right, guys, so started this ab routine off with rat ball cable crunches. Now, these crunches are great because, as you already said in a previous video, I like using the rat ball because you get a better stretch at the bottom, so your range of motions increase, so you really get a good workout on your abs. When you throw these cables in there, then it really helps because on that decline, on the eccentric portion where you're lowering yourself, you're still getting the full tension of the, uh, the cables pulling on you, so really good for the abs. You want to make sure you get a good stretch at the bottom and make sure you're coming up and crunching hard at the top and really taking advantage of the cables. All right, then we switch it up here. After that first exercise, I go ahead and switch it over. And this is all one big giant set pretty much. And I go ahead and do cable side crunches. All of these are three sets each, okay? I did all of these, you go all the way through and you do it three times. So this is the same thing. Instead of just doing the crunches with uh, you know, your body weight, you go ahead and hold on to the cable and go ahead and crunch and you get a little more resistance, all right? Make sure you hit both sides. You don't want to have one oblique huge and the other one, you know, or not huge, but one straight oblique and one oblique that's lagging behind, all right? We do high reps, so we don't want huge obliques. Then we go ahead and the next exercise is reverse crunches. Now there's no weight on this. We just go ahead and do three sets total um, and we go for 15 reps here. Really want to make sure you're squeezing at the top and making sure you're contracting your abs and not just moving and going through the motions. That's real easy to do with the reverse crunches. The last thing in this big giant set is the line cable oblique twists. So you're pretty much doing what I did before my warm up, except you have the cable and you're bringing it across and it really helps get the good contraction in your obliques. You're really going to feel this after only about 15 reps. So make sure you hit both sides again. Then the next exercise is the superset. So I superset it standing cable crunches with cable wood chops. Now this exercise is very hard to feel because it's standing up. So, you know, it's harder to feel in the abs. You really have to focus and make sure the weight is heavy enough. But you go ahead and get a good stretch and then you go ahead and crunch down and use the weight as a resistance to help really get a good contraction in your abs. All right, you wanna make sure that you're crunching and you're when you're coming up, you're stretching your abs at the top, all right? Get a good like arch in your back and kind of stretch and then crunch. Then go ahead and switch it off and go to the cable uh, wood chops. Real good for the obliques. You wanna make sure you're keeping your arm straight the entire time. A lot of people when they do this, they tend to bend their arm or pull with their arm and then they don't feel it in their obliques. You wanna keep your arms as straight as possible. Keep your uh, feet pretty much straight the entire time and really just focus on twisting that torso and really feeling it in your obliques. All right, last exercise we did was another superset with weighted rat ball crunches and knee tucks. So I started off with just one plate and got as many as I could get on the rat ball. All right, adding a little weight to this. Um, you really want to make sure that you're focusing on the decline, again, on the eccentric, and then really coming up and squeezing hard on the contraction. So as you can see, I start with one plate here. Then I went to two plates. And then I went to three plates right here. So I pretty much pyramided up in all three sets. All right. After I finished pyramiding, uh, now in between each one of these, I didn't do all three straight. In between each one of those pyramids, I did 20 knee tucks. And really focus on squeezing the abs. This is a really good exercise for that. So hope y'all enjoyed this ab routine. Give it a try. If you do, comment below. Don't forget to order, subscribe, and share. Like and comment. Till next time on my Devil Dogs, dismissed.
dreams and drug schemes of mad cream could be a sad scene when you go to that extreme. Triple beam dreams and drug schemes of mad cream could be a sad scene when you go to that extreme.